Okay, question 36 for practice provincial B asks us which expression is equivalent to negative c squared to the power of negative one third. All right, so this is uh, what we call a rational exponent. Okay. We call it a rational exponent because the exponent is a rational. So that's why it's called a rational exponent. Now, when we're dealing with rational exponents, so it's called uh, n over m, so a generic rational exponent, we can always rewrite as follows. It'll be the mth root of a to the power of n. Okay? Now, if it's a negative, if it's a negative rational, this will be 1 over the mth root of a to the n, because the negative exponent I should actually write it like this. If I have a negative exponent, using our negative exponent rule, we can write it as n over m, and then we can use the rational exponent rule to write it as a rational, like that. Okay, so what we can do is take this and rewrite it so it is 1 over negative c squared to the one-third. Okay? Now, next thing we can do is, well, this is a rational exponent, so this can go to be one over the third root of negative c squared. Like that. And Again, the reason we can do that is because we use a rational exponent rule. If you're not sure why I'm using, or if not sure where this three comes from, that's because the three is just the denominator of my rational exponent. You notice that in our rational exponent rule, the denominator becomes the index of the radical. So this three will become the index of my radical, and this would be our answer. So this, when we look at these ones, is going to be a. So I'm going to check, number 36, the answer is A. So we did it correctly. Just got to remember this little bit here. Okay. Well, this is the actual rational exponent rule. This is just a combination of the negative exponent and rational exponent rule. Now one thing I should note is that the exponent rules are not in your data booklet. So you need to remember all your exponent rules. And I think in my class we studied, I think, six, six or seven rules altogether. Okay, so make sure you remember what the exponent rules are. And I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube about what the exponent rules are. So go look for them if you don't know what they are.